PeopleSoft Enterprise Components delivers the Notification Composer component, which provides a centralized framework to create and manage all your notifications within PeopleSoft applications. Notification Composer streamlines multiple notification methods and frameworks into a single approach. Notification Composer employs PeopleTools 859 Push Notification Framework as part of its framework. PeopleSoft email, text, and in-app notifications are sent through the PeopleTools Push Notification Framework. The framework allows organizations to configure how messages are sent and whether they're mandatory. It also allows individual users to choose whether to receive a message and how they want to receive it. Notification Composer enables you to organize your notification data by factors such as business process and notification category and to associate it to the PeopleTools notification framework using the PeopleTools notification name. Notification Composer requires PeopleTools 85919 or higher. Once you implement Notification Composer, you must use the component to create new notifications and manage existing ones. FSCM converted selected notifications to work in Notification Composer. This represents the delivered general ledger notifications for this update image. You can search for and review the delivered notifications by owner ID or any other search field such as business process. Select Edit Notification Event to view the Edit Notification Event page. Use the Edit Notification Event page to view event notification details or modify the notification ID and the notification description. Select the information icon adjacent to the notification ID and PeopleTools notification name fields to view notification details. Additional notification information includes the message source and the message to be used for each type of message, such as in application, email, and text. Notification Composer enables you to standardize your notifications and create your own notification events using event mapping to trigger the notification. You can also create your own notification to use with one of the application delivered events by overriding the notification event. For implementation and additional information about Notification Composer, See the PeopleSoft Notification Composer homepage on My Oracle Support, note number 2971792.2. PeopleSoft FSCM adds the ability to identify an employee by something other than their legal name. The employee data record now includes preferred names and a display name field. Some employees may ask to be identified by a preferred name rather than their legal name. Use the Display Preferred Name checkbox on the Installation Options Overall page to enable this capability. Most PeopleSoft financial pages show the Display Name and Preferred Name fields. Pages and processes that require the legal name continue to do so. If your organization uses PeopleSoft HCM, it's recommended that you update employee tables in your human resources system first, and then load the employee data into your PeopleSoft FSCM database using the synchronization messages. After the synchronization process completes, you may need to add or edit employee profiles in the FSCM database. The applications impacted are expenses, resource management, and maintenance management. PeopleSoft enhances the Attachment Upload feature to define a maximum number of attachments that someone can upload at one time. You can define a default Attachment Upload limit for all FSCM products or define a limit for individual products. If an attachment limit is specified for a specific product, it overrides the default attachment limit for that product. PeopleSoft Page and Field Configurator allows you to change the display and behavior of your pages without creating a customization. Enterprise Components enhances the Page and Field Configurator search pages and prompts. Select Search and Prompt fields for source type. 
You can modify a label, hide a field, disable entry into a field, make a field required, or have the system automatically default a value into a field. Use system variables such as mode and role as criteria to create separate views for your different scenarios. This completes the feature descriptions for cross-product features. PeopleSoft enhances journal entry by adding a new view approval history link to access the approval flow, which displays the history of approvers and their comments. This link is only visible when a journal is modified after it's approved. When a journal is approved and ready to post, the approval page displays the approval chain, approval comments, and comment history. If the journal is denied, the denied comment is captured and sent in email notifications. Use the Edit Journal Request Run Control page or the Create Update Journal Entries page to automatically submit journal entries for approval when they pass edit checks. PeopleSoft enhances the spreadsheet upload process so that you can submit journals for approval after spreadsheets are imported. The Edit checkbox is automatically selected, causing the journals to be valid before submitting for approval. Additionally, use the Configure button to rearrange columns on the spreadsheet. Use the Select and Shift arrows to move columns. In addition, import messages are clearer. PeopleSoft Commitment Control adds the Commitment Control Exceptions Insights Dashboard. This dashboard enables you to view a summary of Commitment Control Exceptions based on the budget checking process. The Transactions with Budget Exceptions Visualization provides a count of transactions by source type that have budget exceptions for the selected time range. This visualization provides insight on the exceptions creation trend. The Errors Gauge Visualization provides a count of total errors. The errors are color-coded in different shades of red for 0 to 25, 25 to 50, and above 50. The Errors Bar Chart Visualization provides a count of errors by exception type. The Errors Exception Type Visualization provides a count of errors by exception type in text format. The Errors by Source Transaction Visualization provides a count of errors by source transaction type. The Warnings by Source Transaction Visualization provides a count of warnings by source transaction type. PeopleSoft enhances the AP Payment Metrics Insights Dashboard to provide additional details. You can also select multiple reporting currencies for transaction amounts. New visualizations include trending payment counts per payment method, top suppliers by payment counts, late payments process days range, and canceled payments. This completes the feature descriptions for financials. PeopleSoft eProcurement enhances the requisition process by adding a requester mass change tile. Use this tile to replace an original requester with a new requester. Use the requester mass change page to enter the original and new requester. Use the search criteria fields to find requisitions. Select the requisitions you want to reassign and process the change. PeopleSoft eProcurement enhances the Create Requisition process to allow a default setting for the Amount Only flag. Use the Manage Amount Only by Category Setup page to select the Amount Only flag. 
You can choose to display it on the special requests, fixed cost service, variable cost service, and time and materials pages. PeopleSoft Purchasing adds a new Supplier Activity Analytics dashboard to analyze suppliers based on quality, delivery performance, pricing, and POA responsiveness. This dashboard provides a number of visualizations to analyze dispatched purchase orders, supplier performance, and more. Use the filters to narrow your view. All transactions are displayed in the currency defined for the business unit. The Purchase Order Details table provides summarized details of the visualizations based on the selected filters. A details link is available on the extreme right to view and modify purchase order information. You can also export the contents of the table to a spreadsheet. PeopleSoft Supplier Lifecycle Management enhances the Manage Obsolete Request feature by adding additional statuses to filter the required supplier registration bidder registration, and supplier change request. PeopleSoft also enhances the supplier registration, bidder registration, and supplier change request withdrawal processes. If the Reason Code Required option is required for withdrawal requests on the Supplier Request System Setup page, the approver needs to select a predefined Reason Code for the withdrawal. This completes the feature descriptions for Supplier Relationship Management. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances the page flow for employees who create expense reports for other employees, also known as delegates. Some organizations may also refer to a role with this privilege as a proxy for a group of employees. When creating an expense report, the employee search page appears and enables authorized employees to select who they're creating the expense report for. If the expense report is for themselves, they select the Create for Self button. If the expense report is for someone else, they select the individual's name. When presented with the expense report page, the selected individual is displayed in the top left corner. The delegate's name is displayed next to the Creation Date field. If the delegate selects the wrong person, they can select the Action button and then the Change Employee option. PeopleSoft Customer Contracts adds the Fluid Work Center to help contract administrators address common contract setup issues and process overdue billing and revenue. The My Work section allows you to view and act on billing exceptions, revenue exceptions, and perform recurring tasks. The Billing Exceptions section identifies bill plans in a pending status, on hold, and past due billing events. The Invalid Bill Plans exception allows you to replace inactive billing contact information to prevent future invoice errors. The Letter of Credit exception identifies discrepancies between PeopleSoft contracts and the sponsor. Use the Actions button to clear the exception. The Past Due Billing Events exception identifies fixed amount bills that haven't been processed. Use the Actions icon to update an event status, hold reason, process billing, and more. The Revenue Exceptions section allows you to review and act on revenue plans that are in a pending status, on hold, and process revenue events that are past due. PeopleSoft Grants adds a new Cost Reimbursable Award Financials Dashboard to compare award cost, budget and billing by principal investigator, sponsor, project, contract type, award period, accounting year, and accounting period. Visualizations in the dashboard focus on actual cost, facilities and administration cost, encumbrances, pre-encumbrances, 
budget, and billing. Use the filters to narrow your view. Visualizations include a summary of cost for all awards, total cost by award and period, billing by sponsor, and more. The cost and billing by year and period displays a trend of actual cost with facilities and administration cost and billing amount. The award financials visualization grid provides cost, budget and billing by accounting period, and award period. Use the award profile link to view additional details for an award. This completes the feature descriptions for enterprise service automation. This list displays additional features and enhancements added for FSCM Update Image 49. Payables adds an option for approvers to view an image of the voucher. Payables in Purchasing supports the 7600 Easy Business process that allows direct vouchering by the supplier and eliminates the need to enter an order in the G invoicing system. Receivables includes the ability to configure the sent from email address. The Billing Fluid Work Center adds a link for letter of credit pending draw. Treasury adds data security to adopt a new encryption profile. E-Procurement displays supplier, buyer, and manufacturer information when creating and viewing requisitions. It also continuously updates item attribute buying information for favorites, templates, and item history. Inventory and Mobile Inventory Management Express Issue allows header and line comments and attachments. Expenses displays the prepaid expense type and denied lines on the pending approvals expense report page and expense report summary page. Maintenance management now allows you to reverse a completed work order task status to its previous status. And asset management adds the ability to view and modify assets that have an inactive location code. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.